were telling me as far as wearable technology is concerned, one of the big popular items this year is jewelry. How do you how do you wear jewelry? What's the technology? Yeah, so wearable jewelry is definitely a big part of wearable tech. We've got brands like Bella Bead over here, like the Leaf, which is actually made of sustainable materials, uh, and it's also geared towards the women. You can actually wear it on your wrist, you can wear it as a necklace, you can wear it on your shirt, or even on, on your uh, hip there, maybe uh, tied to your, your gym equipment if you wanted to wear it during a workout scenario. But it's also good for your life, um, just your, your daily life usage as well, whether it's sleeping or for women and your monthly cycles, it can help uh, understand your habits and let you know and it's all about keeping you healthy and active and it all pairs easily with a smartphone. So all that stuff that's going on that you're wearing on your body is now connected to your smartphone and you can access all your data that way. Yeah exactly and it looks great too which is also good from an aesthetic standpoint. Swarovski's getting in the wearable uh, technology game so we'll see some crystallized wearable technology uh, and then they've also got even health product as well because this data is really critical for in this case the Bella Beat Leaf. Uh, it's great for women to track their, their cycles and their own well-being. And then you've also got health products so you can check your temperature uh, and then actually give this data to your doctor and let them know, hey, here's what's going on with me. And you've got an analysis that you can provide them. And, and what does this run you? Uh, the the Bella Beat itself, it's, it's um, typically around $150. And you can also find it on promo before the holidays.